All right, welcome to Ilios. The base was bumping, but now it's only going to come from Toby on that Lucio. Yeah, Zave uh, might be going with the Mercy, so. Yeah. We have seen a lot of Farah from Misfits. You know, it looks like that windmill has solar panels it, for... It does. Uh, wind, that's, that's, see, that's a great idea. No, that's a terrible idea because then you have to power the solar panels that are turning the, the windmill, I guess, a little bit, maybe. Why? But it'll be in shadow some of the time, too. One can power the other. And the free energy, right? That's an unlimited energy <laughs> machine right it's, there. It's, it? it's double energy. You get the energy from the wind and the energy from the solar panels at the same time. It's and double then down. You, have to fr you forgot one source of energy, though. Energized by Hot Six! <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Great sponsor shout out. There. Thank you. Well done. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, Hot Six. Anytime. Today on the Pharah, getting pushed back a little bit. Anticipating the dive composition, Farah is going to be good against this as long as he can stay out of J Hong's sights, which is oftentimes easier said than done. Ooh, but hello, Hero is... going to get, looks like, bumped off by an E there. Yeah, that's going to definitely work. And uh, Tavik really destroying people with this Farah. Manitin's cleaning up. On the Tracer as well, Zava just floating around keeping people alive, except for Manitons to keep him alive. Problem is that Tavik actually has to get onto this point. There were some pretty big plays that were made. Toby got a pretty crucial boop there on Manitons during that fight, so a lot of trade kills going around so far. <laughs> Miro trying to get some, uh, rake him with a little bit of lightning in midair. Yeah. Wow, and Lutakai. All right. Trying to take the point. There's still the ones building the control meter right now. Misfits having trouble just kind of being on the point with this hypermobile composition. Finally, though, they will start taking it. Looks like they'll get it first. And Tavik untouched throughout most of that. And what is Lunatic High's answer going to be? They have run Eska on Soldier for a lot of the time. So with this composition, the only real threat to Tavik is going to be Jae Hong. And that means that Reinforce, his job is to stay on top of Jae Hong to make sure that Tavik can maximize his damage. Now, he did that. He actually got the kill onto Jae Hong last time. Is this just going to be him walking up to Jae Hong right now? And so. that's a nice solo kill. Yeah, Jae Hong focusing on keeping people healed. Didn't have time to go after Tavik and fight the threat, but it's going to pay for it. Zombier used by Lunatic High, but I think it's a little bit late maybe to get anything done here. They do flip the point, but they may just lose it again soon. Yeah, that's the Maybe issue. Is Tavik can get a lot of kills, but at some point he actually has to contest that point, right? Fair enough. And we're going to see Manitons there on the tracer, yeah. zipping in and out, holding it. Well, we've seen Who Are You be very good at chasing down Fars in the past, and he's going after Tavik right now. Does a good job of forcing him away. Yes, but on Oasis, so that it's like Hello. more terrain specific, I think. But he tries a little bit too hard right there. It gets Hello. blindsided. Yeah, wow, whole hog. Used by Zumba, getting a little bit low now. Tavik coming back in with the Pharah. Zumba goes down fairly soon, but there's a primal rage for Miro. You got to get away. Look that monkey. Wow, two mid-air hits, three mid-air hits. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, he gets oh, back. He's back. You got that cooldown, man. Wow. I will never, I will never question a decision made by Miro. On that Winston. was so sick. What a pro. I can't believe he knew exactly how far out he could go and punch that mid-air mercy to get back <laughs> on the map. Uh, constantly amazing. And you know what's so sad, though? Every time I see Miro do this, I'm like, I'm going to play Winston. And then uh, I just die instantly. I know, right? Every time. Yeah, you just, you're not Miro, you know? I, I'm definitely not Miro. You're not Miro. <laughs> Nobody else out there is Time Moves Widowmaker. You're not Saya Player's Tracer. It's just how it is. It's just life. Who are you? Pulls out the nano blade. Time to find somebody. Hopefully, eventually, Zebesai goes down. Where are the other kills? Looks like he might be able to get one here on the Nevix. Yep. Less Kinda effective than Nevix. they would have liked, though. Yeah. However, Miro will be hit by Manitin's pulse bomb. Rez comes through for Zave. And they may have this point again if they can just finish off. Eska, and it looks like they do so. They'll get the control percent building 96% right now for Lunatic High, though. Pretty big investment, though. Lunatic High threw all their ultimates in only to lose the point. So they look at the ult economy. They're playing from behind that res at the moment, and Misfits sitting pretty yeah, look as it out. stands right now. They're going to have to have very good value out of this uh, sound barrier from Toby. A little bit surprised to see Zenba on the Road Dog this time around. Going to get hooked. And he's going to, ah, he who hooks first dies first. The old Roadhog rule. Especially if you already have a sound barrier on you. So yeah, that helps too. The yeah. value was definitely there. Yep. Chasing down Manitins now. Manitins gets a kill on the Zimba, though, with the Pulse Bomb before things are all said and done. We were getting pretty close to his ult, but he's got to worry about Reinforce doing the Primal Rage thing himself. And Reinforce just kind of bouncing around the point, but not really getting a ton done. Lutakai 
still just waiting for that overtime to go down so they can win the point. Tavik is back. Oh, he goes down, though. Jay Hall gets two kills as well, and that is point A going to Lunatic High. Now first point down. The magic number for Lunatic High is one to keep themselves alive. They only have to win one map to get into minimum a tiebreaker scenario. They win two, they're through. Yeah. So they're one point up right now, one point away from that crucial one map win. And that was, throughout that match, Tivik did a lot of work on the Fara, but the problem is even though he was getting kills, the rest of Lunatic High were bouncing around inside the structures on either side of Well, yeah. and they weren't able to cap it. So it looked good, but the end result is not actually the way that you win these control point maps. I mean, that's a big thing to consider too in your own games. I mean, if you're gonna play that Farah, you have to realize that you have to think about who's going to take the point. Well, the Mercy too, right? And that's sure. the big problem. You don't have the Lucio. If you're committing to that yeah. far Mercy, that's when it gets problematic yeah. uh, at times. Lunatic High just gonna go with their standard dive composition here. Nothing too weird. Tavik now on the Soldier instead. On the onboard of where you as he goes after uh, Vulnerable Anna, but gets taken down by Tavik. Meanwhile, Miro on his own. We're kind of filtering in one by one here in this early fight, and that may give Misfits the point first. They got it first last time too, though. And we saw how that turned out. Early lead either way for Misfits on yeah. um, Ruins. Very one-sided fight, though. Yeah. Well, they got the they got uh, who are you very early, and Miro dug deep with no support. That's what happens. Okay. So Miro actually going to swap to the Reinhardt now. Done with the shenan shenanigans on the Winston. Afraid of that damage from back line and now Eska looking for opportunity to use this pulse bomb. Nano boost goes down. There we go. Nano boost though. Yep. Preventing a lot of the damage. I think the pulse bomb missed. I don't think he got the stick there. Oh, he's not going to live either as Nevix completes the kill with the Ana. This fits holding for the moment anyway. Who are you coming in? He's pulling up the Dragon Blade, but he's only got half health. Still, ooh, can't quite make it work. Episai gets the kill into Toby during all of that as well. They've managed to kind of shut down Who Are You this series so far, and even though they lost that first point, it's working well. Well, they have the Roadhog hook, they have the Zarya Beam to make it through the Reflect. Yeah. So tools there, especially since Episai has had a high charge, but that was a big and late commitment from Lunatic High to use both the Dragon Blade and the Nano Boost I was surprised on that, he, that particular play. Yeah, it, it did seem overly optimistic to pull out the Dragon Blade when you're at half health already, when you don't really have the support. They're going to go ahead and use the Graviton Surge. Misfits trying to use those ults sparingly. That's smart. Yep. Just use the one and have Nevix drop his Nano Boost as well. So I guess two there. Full. Oh, the whole hog. Never mind. Three, Doa. Three. Uh, uh, uh. I oh. can count the ults. <laughs> Good job. That's why we keep you around. So we know I can't count, so. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Utakai trying to force their way over the point now, around the side to Vic on the high ground. He's going to pop the attack visor, try to come in from behind. That is a sound barrier that he's contending with. He's not going to get a lot out of this one. Uh, not really. A bit of damage. He keeps some people pinned down. But Utakai has that point halfway taken to where you're pulling out the Dragon Blade now in a much better position to make that work. And they will be able to flip it at 99% for Misfits. Yeah, I mean, the, the defensive setup seemed clever, but they just kind of resulted in Tavik not doing anything that fight. Well, had to, had there not been a sound barrier, it would have been an entirely different story, but the sound barrier was popped. That was not communicated either that Lucio had the barrier up I think or just, that it was used and, or it was just, frankly, unfortunate timing because... I think that's what it was. It just happened at the same time, and then you just kind of go, well, yeah. what can you do? So Jay Hong ends up living in the end. Nice Earth Shatter from Miro. Not yeah. gonna hit anybody as he's booped off. Yeah, avoid the charge. They're actually gonna return some kills here. Reinforced, swings into one. And they're back on the point. There's the charge. It was off cooldown. What do you expect him to do? Of Lotto, course. The Lotto Force was pretty real right there, but yeah. it's a smart play. He's zoning people out. The options are either they're stuck back in that corridor with him swinging the hammer, or they're going to walk out into his charge. So that's just a nice predicted charge there. Yeah. Either way, he's going to be a winner. They have to walk back towards the rest of his team. Uh, so nice play, and ends up with Misfits on a convincing point two. They're yeah. still on their way to that 3-0, potentially, that would it's lock possible. up their spot as the number one seed in Group B. Yeah, they handled Who Are You. Uh, they had a, a very good defensive setup after they took the initial point. And now we are going to go to the third point here on Ilios. 
and see if that lighthouse, anything will change. Worth noting that both of these teams have been a, a mixed bag on control. Neither of them have looked particularly strong in this map type. Yeah. It's not like we expect one of these teams to win heavily here and not be as proficient on Escort or Hybrid or Assault. Uh, Escort back on the Tracer again for the moment. Miro back on the Winston. Gonna try to get aggressive here. Meanwhile, Misfits takes the defensive high ground. Nice grab on Miro. He gets a Zarya shield, but can't quite survive through all that damage. Right. Some Lutikagin to start things off shorthanded here. Oh! Uh -oh, really shorthanded. Eska goes down. Misfits cruising towards an early point take here. Hook breaking, yeah. fortunately for Who Are You, but the Helix Rocket straight to the face there for Eska, who has not been putting up a particularly good performance on this Tracer thus far. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I'd like to see Eska swap to something like the McCree or something a little He's bit. He's played mostly Soldier this tournament. Yeah, uh, mostly May in the last match specifically, weirdly enough. But, you know, right now at least, the Tracer not working out too great. Trying to flip it, but... Fight now working out. Miro being annoying on that high ground. Going after Tavik for the moment. He's got the barrier as they try to flip the point back. Manitin's kind of on his own in the middle there. And who are you? Just on the periphery of the fight looking for picks. He's got a deal with that Soldier 76 right now. And whoa, Manitin's over the edge as he dies to Eska's pulse bomb. Which Kai get the kills they're looking for. Who are you coming in though? And it looks like they should be able to flip it now. Yeah, they will. Okay, so 40% built up for Misfits for Lunatic High swap things. Uh, Miro controlling the soldier on the high ground, and this is the typical Miro trick. How many times have we seen him standing on the tops of doorways ready to rain lightning death on those who come through? Oh yeah, oh, but he walks right into the team, has to dive out immediately. Or you has the Dragon Blade. Pulls it out, he's going in. Gonna get some supports, we'll see. Nevix misses that sleep dart, gonna go down because of it. Where you claims his first victim, no other kills though. Without the Ana, oh, Zava did go down, Eska killing the other support, and it looks like they'll be able to keep holding really solid defensive fight for Lunatic High. And that's the specialty of Lunatic High, the divide and conquer. You scatter everybody around the map. They clean up so well from those types of plays. And Very true. they're sitting back, taking the lead now in terms of the control present Zumba, waiting patiently with the Graviton Surge. They've got so many else to work with oh, right yeah. now. They're, they're in great shape here to win this one. Anything could happen, but I feel like Lunatic High, I feel like it's their round to lose right now. Oh, going for an aggressive Graviton Surge behind the back, waiting for the big bang, Eska. Oh, he blows through a lot of that sound barrier, gets a kill on the Manitins as well. Good start for Lunatic High, Tavik comes back with a kill on to Toby, but Eska not done quite yet. They've at least managed to push Misfits back already. Still for the to moment. take out supports, gets one on the back side, so Eska Kill onto Nevix. The Earth Shatter came in for reinforce, but there was just no uh, no follow-up for Misfits, and that's a lost fight, and very uh, likely a lost point here is it's up to 85% already for Lunatic Eye. Misfits has another chance to push, though, and Lunatic Eye used everything but the Nano Boost, so they have an opportunity. Misfits is coming up on a lot of ults, including a Nano Visor. So they do have one opportunity to fight this back. I don't know if they've got time, man. They gotta be careful, Manitin's on the point right now, Misfits, uh, they're already flipping it. Nano boost onto Zunba. He gets a couple kills though before he goes down. Miro, meanwhile, takes a reinforce, and that's gonna be that man. They can't take the point, and Lunatic High will win Ilios and force at least a tiebreaker, even if Misfits wins 3 1 from here. Lunatic High's aggression right there was key. There was a very small window of time before the Nano Boost and the Tac Visor combination was going to be up, and at the end, Nevix dies with 97% on his ult. Had they not been so decisive about forcing the fight right then, it could have been a very different story. A few more seconds, a few more ults for Misfits, and they may have been able to turn that. Yeah.